Hello, kindergartners. Welcome to lesson three. We are going to start where we stopped off yesterday at the songs about a dog. So here's Bow Wow Wow again, just to refresh your memory. Bow Wow Wow, whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog, Bow Wow Wow. Can you sing that with me? Ready, sing. Bow Wow Wow. Whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Bow, wow, wow. Good job. And the next one is, Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from your home. Can you sing that with me? Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from your home. Good job. And I will be writing a game for that, those two songs into the lesson plan soon. So be ready. Practice those songs, okay? All right. I have a listening activity for you guys. Look at this picture of the garden and listen to the music and think about how the music makes you feel why you are listening to it. hear echoing in that song? Remember when we talked about echo yesterday? Well, I hear an instrument going bum, 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 and then I hear another voice, another instrument going bum, 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 and echoing the other one. Now the song also has words to it and lyrics to it, so I'm going to sing it along with this music. And then I will sing it once um, without the music so that you can hear what it sounds like without that backing track, okay? And it sounds like this without the backing track. Oh, how lovely is the evening, is the evening when the bells are sweetly ringing, sweetly ringing. Ding dong, ding dong. Okay, see if you can hear those words that I just sang. See if you can hear that now whenever you're listening to just the instrument. It's kind of cool how those two songs, uh, not two songs, that melody kind of echoes and overlaps the other melody. It's just very fun to listen to. Today we're talking also about a man and his last name is Chopin, although this looks like he would say it Chopin, but it's actually pronounced Chopin. And he wrote a lot of really beautiful piano music 
and I just wanted to introduce you guys to him and have you listen to some of his piano music that he has written. Do the same thing on these songs. Look at the picture. And if you want to, you can pretend to play the piano with it and think about the mood. Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel sad? Is it fast? Is it slow? Okay. And make, when you're pretending to play the piano, make your hands be the mood that the music is. Okay. So if it's going fast, play fast. And if it's going slow, play really slow. Okay. Here is the first one. It's called Polonaise number three because he wrote a whole bunch of them, so he had to put numbers by them. Here it is. job playing the piano. How did that one sound? Was it loud or was it quiet? Do you think it was a happy mood or was it a sad mood? Here's the next one. Pretend to play your piano with this one and listen to see how it might be different. It's called Nocturne number two. Okay, that piece had a different feel to it. It was still very beautiful. Um, but what mood did you kind of think of whenever you thought of this one? Was it upbeat and exciting or was it more relaxing and calm? For me, it was very relaxing. I think it's really pretty. And let's go ahead and move on to our next slide. All right, now it's time to get some more movement into our lesson today. I hope you remember Hop Old Squirrel 
and I'm going to stand up for this game. Remember, I'm going to say, I'm going to sing, hop old squirrel, listen, listen, hop old squirrel, listen now, hop old squirrel, listen, listen, hop old squirrel, listen now. And then the parts where it says, listen, listen, you are going to listen and see what you hear. Okay, so you will be singing, hop, old squirrel, hop, old squirrel. Okay, all right, I have a couple mystery instruments right here, so I hope you can guess it. Everybody stand up. All right, get ready to hop. Oh, I forgot my friend. Here he is. He's ready to do it with us. Ready? Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. What did you hear in the parts that said, listen, listen? It was an instrument and it's called a maraca. This is how I played it. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. Okay, and you shake it like this. All right, I have. Okay, so now I have another one. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. What did you hear on the listen, listen parts in that one? It was an instrument. You use this to play it, and it is called a, if I can see it here, <laughs> it's called a glockenspiel. Can you see the keys? Here's how I played it. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. Hop, old squirrel. Okay, good job listening. Now everybody can take a seat and we're gonna go visit our friend, the snail. Hello, it's good to see everyone today. Oh, he's disappearing. Yay! And with our snail snail song, snail, 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 go around and round and round. Snail, 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 go around and round and round. We are going to follow a little chart with our finger. It's right here. So put your finger at the middle of the circle and you start at the middle and you go, snail, 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 go around and round and round. And by the time you end, you should be right here. Okay, so I'm gonna have my little arrow and you can follow it. Oh, didn't mean to draw that there. Okay, you can follow my little arrow and start your finger here. And we're gonna go, we're gonna sing and make our finger go all the way like this. And he can sing with us. Are you ready? Here we go. Snail, 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 snail. Go around and round and round. Try it one more time. Snail, 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 snail. Go around and round and round. 
Good job, everybody. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and join us again next week for some more music lessons. Bye-bye.